video will show you how to use the component that's called subassembly. Now the purpose of subassembly is to allow you to take a collection of parts and swap them from one rocket to another rocket. Uh, it's mostly used for things like engine mounts and maybe uh, electronic bays that you want to use from one rocket to the other. Whenever you have a large collection of parts and you don't want to put them in individually into each design, a subassembly is what you might use. So here I have a simple design and I'm going to use a subassembly to create an engine mount and I'm going to move that subassembly to another rocket. So first uh, here I'm going to expand this down and you can see my nose cone, body tube, and fin set. And I'm going to attach the subassembly to the body tube. So I first need to highlight the body tube and then click subassembly. And the first thing it's going to ask is, is this subassembly owned by the body tube? And you just say yes. Okay, as you can see it added a folder to the body tube and this is where we're going to add the parts. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you here. Okay, so right now we're going to call this a BT-60 engine mount because that's the, what I'm working on here. And we're going to save this later. Um, right now it doesn't have any parts to it so um, it doesn't do any good to save it. So right now I'll just click OK and you can see we have the subassembly here. Now we're going to add parts to it and I'm going to add an inside tube first. This is going to be my engine mount tube and I'll make it an 18 millimeter motor mount tube and it's going to be from the base of the owning part 2.75 inches long and I'm just going to go through this really quick because I'm going to um, just adding parts to this Okay, so in my subassembly I have uh, an engine mount tube with an engine block and two centering rings. So at this point I need to save the subassembly. So I'm going to click edit the subassembly and then we're going to save parts to a file. And this will bring up a screen where you're going to save it. I'm just going to throw it into my design folder. I'm going to call it my uh, BT60 engine mount and click save. And so now it is saved onto my computer in the folder and I can either click OK or cancel here. I'll just click OK and I'm going to save this design. Now I'll open up a new design and I have previously created this one called Roar Rocket. And you can see it's it's completely different and if I go to 2D you can also see it doesn't have an engine mount in it. So first I need to find where that's going to go, where my engine mount is going to be attached, and it's going to be attached to this body tube right here. Nope, that's the front one. This is the rear run one, because it has the fins on it. And I'm going to click Subassembly, and I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to load my subassembly. So it is, I'm looking for my uh, BT-60 
Um, the one that ends in RSA, which stands for RockSim Subassembly, that's the one I want to select. And I'll open it, and you can see it just dropped it right in here into my rocket. And I click OK, and basically that's how you use the subassembly. You start by creating the subassembly, then you add parts to it, then you save it as a subassembly, then you can open it and install it into a new rocket uh, by loading it. So if you have any other questions, uh, please let us know.